the category is Welcome back to another video. It's a very requested video doing full face using drugstore makeup. And here we are at my local Walgreens, aka the first place I ever bought makeup. Let's get into it. All right, so let me get my list out. It's been quite some time since I've been here for a full face of makeup. And I'm actually really shook because I know that the industry of drugstore makeup has changed so much. So I have no doubts that this is gonna turn out great, but I also don't know what's the products to use. We need foundation, concealer, which complexion products without being tested on you. Sis, let's hope I get my shade right. Powder, blush, bronzer, highlight, brow pencil, mascara, lashes, which I love lashes actually from the drugstore. So I know that's easy win. Eyeshadow, which I haven't used in so long from here lipstick or gloss setting spray eyeliner lip liner and we're gonna also do some brushes wow <laughs> it seems so intimidating into a jungle. all right everything seems freshly stocked which is nice to yes. see the neighborhood having variety i've heard really good things about this one actually the maybelline fit me foundation i think the last time that i used it was when i was starting my business and it was in my kit and it did work pretty well actually let's see what i might be there's so much variety in shade and i'm just shook about that because i remember foundations being like maybe just this <laughs> Just this, you gotta choose from this line here. I feel like I'm more confident in going a little bit deeper because I know I can at least fix that with some concealer in my 115 ivory and it's a glass bottle, $7.99. I always used to get the wrong shade where it would be too light. So I'm hoping that I don't go too light with this one. But between natural ivory and ivory, I feel like I look more like ivory. And it just so happens to be the last one there. So I'm gonna get it. Oh my goodness, do they still have these? Whoa. Whoa. Are these not expired? These are the Maybelline Dream Matte Mousse foundations. Guys, if you know, then you know. This is the Maybelline Master Chrome. I've heard so many good things about this. This is rose gold. It's the last one, so we're just gonna take that one. That concealer I used to use all the time, that brand. The Asia Wine? Yeah. I do have that in my kit too. I use it for like contouring, but I've you never used it as for like actual it. concealer. I feel like we could definitely use this. See, like they have trust issues in this Walgreens. They don't understand that we could just literally rip through this. We got it. This is a 100 Ivory. Oh goodness. I'm hoping that I'm not gonna go too light on this. <laughs> now, I actually like to use loose powder more than pressed powder. Oh, we can do the, the Maybelline Fit Me powder as well. Why not? I'm gonna go with, no, light medium seems too yellow. Okay, we'll do light. I'm actually living for this packaging. It looks luxurious considering the fact that it's $7.99. As for primer, I do actually own a drugstore primer, so I'm gonna save a little coin on that. Okay, we need blush, Milani. I actually used to use this baked blush when I first started wearing makeup, so I wonder if the formula is still just as good. These were like really pretty blushes though. You put a Dior signal on that, a signal, <laughs> a Dior label on that, and you won't be able to tell the difference. This is cute, I love a peach, a peach blush. Can never go wrong with that. I think the one that I'm the most nervous about is the eyeshadows, cause, whew, oh, thank you. Multitasking. <laughs> this is a rose primer serum. They have a um, setting sprays too, right? Yes. Oh yeah. With my Walgreens card, I can save a dollar. <laughs> I like a dewy finish. These are like foreign. <laughs> this is cute, little travel size moment. I throw it in the bag. Our right, cart. They have oil. Wait a second, I'm gonna have to get this. It's a glass bottle only for an A99. Oh wait, hold on, they have a dewy setting spray, specifically. Let's get that and put back that wet and wild. <laughs> that was just a water. <laughs> we want dewy. But she, she's considerate, she put it back. I put it back in the right spot, why? Because I worked retail and I understand. We can probably use, I know they have contouring sticks, yeah. Get it. Wet and Wild contour stick. Okay, let's hope this is good enough. So we have the Wet and Wild Mega Glow makeup stick for contour. And this is a cream, so we're gonna need a powder one as well. This Milani bronzer apparently isn't where she's supposed to be, but I think this is gonna be a good one. So let's go for it, cause she's obviously calling my name. She was in the right place at the right, right time. <laughs> Take me home with you. Okay. Okay, Elf. Let's get into it. We see brow pencils. Oh, I see brow gel, which I do need. Oh, and brow pencils here. So we have deep brown here, and then I'm gonna get the brow gel too, because I fucking love brow gel. Let's see, I don't know which one to do. Should I do waterproof, non-waterproof? First of all, they have like 50 options of mascara. <laughs> yeah. Alone. And I feel like I remember the commercials for all of these. They're a dollar difference, I wonder why. Well, I like that they show the wand. Perfect. 
mascaras in. The brushes, I'm actually really shook about that too. I'm really interested to see how this is gonna cost because when you compare it to Sephora or even Ulta, like I'm really interested to see how much it is gonna be for the makeup doing an entire full face. Like that's gonna be really interesting. So I see some lashes behind you. I do have lash glue at home, which is duo. So we're gonna count that as well. I'm shook right now. There's so many options. I'm like trying to be a colonel, but I'm gonna buy them. <laughs> Customer service needed in the cosmetic department. Items, they have that whole set up there. Oh, awesome. 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 And it's this thing. And it's real techniques. Oh, yeah, we'll get this one. It's so fitting for the video. Oh, yeah, we'll be good. And it's an entire... Yeah, we're going to be good. We love great customer service. Right? Can I write a review for you, sir? <laughs> hey, brushes. Wow, shook. <laughs> we got some eyeshadows with e.l.f. here. These are freaking $3 bite size how cute and then we have the ten dollars which is matte and shimmer palettes i want to go with a look that matches my outfit today which i'm wearing all pink i think that those are just not enough okay <laughs> oh that's pink and it's glittery two things i love mm -hmm. okay let's drop that in there that could be for the lid i feel like eyeshadow is the hardest thing to find like my thing is like how do you have control to get so like get your brush in there and not mess it up right. that one you know like that is self-control right there mm -hmm. actually let's do it let's try to have some self-control and see if we can <laughs> do a look with this a challenge within a challenge right we need an eyeliner we're up to 16 hours let's see about that we have charcoal carbon and it even has a little smudger moment on it Ooh. do that again hey, what's going on in cover girl let's see what's going on in cover girl Nothing. Let's go. It's all gone. <laughs> Must be good stuff. Let's try to do a nice pretty nude lip for this. It's like I want to just swatch them so bad. We need a, a gun? No, it's, it's a camera. It's a microphone. <laughs> Sorry. It's okay. Don't worry. No, it looks like... <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Thank you, too. It says, oh, that's pretty. It says it's ultra glossy, non-sticky with agave and moringa oils. Okay, Revlon. I'm doing it for Meg. Oh, that's pretty. I could kind of see <laughs> what it is through that clear top. We love that. You know what's going to be fun? Unraveling all of these because that's another thing. It's like drugstore makeup has so much plastic that it's just packaged with that it's almost like... <laughs> It's gonna take 10 more minutes to just unravel everything first. All right, so we have the gloss and the lipstick. We need a liner though, because then if we don't, my lips are gonna disappear. Oh, here's some. And more of my alley, let's see. I'll do a little mix, a little combination cocktail. I think we got everything. Are these coming from Fordham? This is new too. The Bronx never had Krispy Kreme before, so don't let this make you feel like we got it like that. This is new. <laughs> but this is before the number. <laughs> so let's see what happens oh, after right. your number. <laughs> Whoa, did you see that? price change we love points at walgreens yes. still better than 207 dollars <laughs> we're on the way back home now to do this full face using drugstore makeup stay tuned welcome back guys now we're home we went to the drugstore we got a whole bunch of products i'm actually really excited to see how this is going to come out i hope that i matched myself correctly and i'm really interested to see how these eyeshadows play out considering how close they are to each other and the color pigments and everything like that i have my receipt here and i also added in the price of um two products that i didn't get in this exact store run which are the elf poreless putty primer and the elf illuminating face primer so it gives my grand total for that being 199.21 so i got basically everything you would need with doing an entire full face of makeup for under 200 dollars Alrighty, so first things first, I already have my daily skincare on and I am just going to go in with the Black Radiance Luminous Dry Oil prior to doing my makeup as well to give me a um, more radiant glow. Now, this little baby was only $10.99, which is not bad. Um, It's a one ounce, it's in a glass bottle and compared to face oils that I've used in the past and, and currently do use, I would say this is more than 50% less of that price so not bad at all and she is vegan and cruelty free y'all so I'm just excited to try out some new products from some of these brands that some of us grew up on like I definitely recognize like you know Maybelline and Revlon and things like that but to see what they're doing now I have not 
checked in in a long time so shout out to all of you guys for requesting this video because it was actually really fun and something that i wanted to do as well so i'm here for it now this smells really nice it smells fruity. It's not a very harsh scent though, which is nice because you don't want to use too much harsh fragrances on your skin. I wonder why it's called a dry oil. I'm gonna do some research after this video. During the winter months, I like to use oils to keep up hydration. Next, we're going to use the e.l.f. Illuminating Face Primer. That's what she looks like. She was $6, okay? For this product though, I'm just gonna keep it on my higher points of my cheeks and on all of the places where I would usually want to glow a little bit more. It feels like a bit velvety, it feels very smoothing. And as for the glow itself, I mean, it's pretty subtle. But I do see a little bit of luminosity there. Okay, my skin is feeling smooth. And now we're going to go in with the... So I'm using the, the e.l.f. Poreless... <laughs> That's not what I look like. I'm using the e.l.f. Poreless Putty Primer in my T-zone because I get the most oil there. So I really want a nice smooth surface there. In my opinion, this does help with oil a bit, so I like to use that first. I'm using the Maybelline Fit Me Foundation. I have used this years ago, so from what I remember, it was really good. I'm gonna just shake it. And I'm shade, well, hopefully, uh, 115 Ivory. So this is the Real Techniques Limited Edition Disco Glam Set. It has a brush for foundation, shadow, concealer, bronzer, and highlighter. It is a $60 value that I got for $40 and with my reward I got for $20. This automatically is a steal even without the discount. I actually have um, a foundation brush on the side here from them that I've had for about two to three years and this is amazing. Like their brushes are so good. So I actually am going to use that foundation brush to apply my foundation. Okay. I think it matches. I think we got something guys. Because I don't have a tan anymore. Like my tan been gone. I'm not mad at this. Okay it's still looking a little light. At least from what I, from what I usually use. I like this little luminosity though that primer and that oil combination is coming through because this is a matte foundation and it doesn't seem that way yeah now you guys can see more or less that it is it is a little bit of lighter but we're gonna make it work that's what we're here for the only thing i would say is what is it claiming for coverage normal oily skin mattifies and refines pores matches natural tone natural seamless finish okay so it's not really claiming to be i guess full coverage but i think that this could definitely be buildable if i do one more layer it could be a full coverage foundation but off rip it's not <laughs> i am not ivory i'm scared of the, the concealer now because the concealer is also ivory so i know that it might be even lighter we have the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Concealer. This concealer I've heard so many good things about. And this concealer went for a whopping $9.99. She's a bank breaker. Alright, so boom. I think that I have to just twist this, okay? For age rewinding. <laughs> <laughs> it's a baby of me. I guess we just keep going until we see something pop up in the sponge that's built in. By the way, guys, I will recommend for you if you do have this concealer at home and this is something you really love to use to keep it more sanitary. Just take like a either I have like a metal stainless steel plate here. You want to have like a palette of some sort to take the product onto because if you just keep putting on this sponge onto the face over time you know if you have a new blemish or anything like that just it'll just get cr like crazy with bacteria so there it is sanitary way <gasps> this does look really yellow i'm gonna just take this um this brush here this is the real techniques foundation brush this is a flatter brush from the set i'm gonna judge this concealer not by the color because that's my fault <laughs> But by the coverage and by the form, how it feels on the face and how it sits on the face. I'm gonna get my handy dandy close up mirror for this one to really see how it's looking. Okay, it's actually not horrible. It is not horrible at all. The way that it looks underneath my eye, it looks very hydrating. It still has a bit of a glow to it. I mean, it's wet, but you know, it looks hydrating. It doesn't like, it didn't dry down to a matte finish. It doesn't look horrible. I'm actually gonna zoom you guys in a little bit closer to my face so that way you can really get into these crevices coverage i would say this is more of a medium because it could be the fact too of the color like i can still see my darkness underneath my eyes looking very close into my super close magnifying mirror as for formula it doesn't feel heavy which is really nice it's very lightweight and from my further 
distance mirror, I don't see any creases, which is really nice, actually. Creases is something that I always get with um, any type of concealer because, you know, I'm a human being and it happens. Now, this brush as well is actually very nice. It's not poking me in a very uncomfortable way where, you know, how some brushes are just so damn bristly. It's like brushing your face with a porcupine. Like, who wants to do that? All right. We are concealed. Our secrets are hidden. Our sins are forgiven. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> now we're gonna get into cream contour. I'm going to be using the what is this wet and wild? Yes, this is a makeup stick It is a contour version and it's called oaks on you and this was a whopping $3.99 All right now she looks very glossy. I'm actually very interested to see. I hope this doesn't come out too red on me I'm going to be comparing it with the Fenty Beauty Cream Bronzer and also to the Huda Beauty Cream Bronzer because those were the last two that I use and I really enjoy. So off rip, it is very creamy and easy to apply. Let's see if it blends nicely as well. The coverage of it seems pretty full and I'm just using that same foundation brush because I'm hoping that my foundation will kind of dilute the contour cream a bit. And it blended down really nicely. Like, guys, this is $4. Of course, you don't have to be wearing a hat like me when you do your makeup. Okay, wet and wild. I see you. Wow. And I don't think that it's, well, in the monitor, this side comes out a little bit darker. But in person, I don't think it's too bad. This foundation is definitely not full coverage. I'm going to get a little bit more. <laughs> so, guys, I just added a little bit of that contour and cream to my nose as well. And then I'm using this Real Techniques Expert Concealer Brush actually to just blend this out. Very soft. They're not shedding, which is a good sign. I hate it when brushes just shed all over your face. All right, now it's time to set it and forget it. We are going to be using the Maybelline Fit Me Powder, and this is in 15 Light. Looks pretty smooth to me. Okay, Maybelline! The only thing I will say, it took down the brightness of my under eye concealer because of the tint of color that it is. And just set the rest of my face with it. And this powder, hold on, let me get the price. This powder was $7.99. Hold on, I have to compare. Amber, Yes. can you search up mm -hmm. how much is the Anastasia loose powder? Sure. The price is $38. Woo! And let's compare the size. The Anastasia one is 0 0.9 of an ounce, and the Maybelline Fit Me one is 0 0.7 of an ounce. That's crazy. She did that though. She set my face. I'm gonna be using the Milani Sun Tan Silky Matte Bronzing Powder. I've never used a M Milani bronzer, and I'm gonna use it on the powder brush that is with the Real Techniques set. I don't know how it's looking on the monitor, but in person, she's cute. And this is buttery. Okay. Wow. This brush is amazing too. Like I'm just living for this brush. It's super soft. This is pretty. I think I'm going to keep this bronzer. Now we need blush. So we're also going to be using Milani for this. And these are classics. I think that these went out for so long. So I'm excited to see this shade and how it looks. This is the Milani Baked Blush in 05 Illuminoso. She has a lot of pigment though. I love a peach blush. I think that it is timeless and it is something you can wear throughout the entire year. So, oh, it is a luminosity kind of a blush. I think you guys can see it too. Okay, she cute. I look blushed. I'm not mad at the skin right now. I mean, I look super natural. I look like me. Of course, the skin tone, I would definitely amp it up just one more shade. We're going to be using the Maybelline Master Chrome. This highlighter was $9.99. I'm not going to wet the brush at all. I'm just going to go right in. Oh, wait a minute. This is $10. She said, hi, I'm here. She said, I'm the master of chrome. <laughs> this is good. You can't deny this. This literally just gave me such a glow. And this color is rose gold molten. I very much like that. The last step of the skin. We're going to set it and forget it. I'm gonna be using the Black Radiance Dewy Setting Mist. I'm interested to see how this is going to set my face and what kind of a spritzer is it gonna be? Is it gonna be a fine mist? Is it gonna be like a Or is it gonna be like a You know? Let's see. Okay. Mm. 
Not bad. I feel like it got all over my entire face. My skin does look dewy. Now, what I like to do, especially if I'm using a setting spray that claims like whether it be a dewy or a matte i just go over it with my brush because sometimes the splatter marks can stay there if it does get you in certain areas so now for the eyes the nipples of the face first things first what i want to do is i just want to take a little bit of my setting powder just a very small amount and i'm just gonna dust that over my brows pressing it on like this and what this does is it just allows the brow pencil to grip onto your brow hairs a little bit better because usually when you have like your moisturizer and, and like all the things that are slippery underneath um, your brow hairs are gonna also not be something to grasp onto with like a pencil which is more of like a wax base so definitely doing that first and then we have here and we have here the elf eyebrow pencil which guys is only two dollars two dollars I could drop two dollars on the floor i won't be that mad and it comes with a spoolie so if you think about it it's like the brush is a dollar and then the pencil is a dollar the only thing is i feel like with this i mean it's two dollars so like let's not clean that much but it is a review but i just feel like the um the container that it's in it does it does feel more on the cheaper side it doesn't feel as pristine let's see if it lifts instantly now this shade i think is going to be perfect for the tail of my brow which i usually go a little deeper at the end and then i keep it really light in the beginning i mean we're getting somewhere the color i would say definitely matches my brow because i have deep brown hair i'm not mad at this and in the front i'm not gonna add anything i just like it to look like natural and just see my brow okay you can see the difference it framed my face a lot more this is the elf clear brow and lash mascara let's do the other one okay guys as i'm doing the second brow i do realize the only issue i have with this brow pencil is the fact that like the actual applicator of the pencil is so thick that i wouldn't be able to get precise brow hair strokes from this kind of a pencil it's more just like being able to fill in the brow because the more that i used it it only had the tip when you started with it being fine point and because you cannot sharpen this in any way there's no way for me to change this the rounded edge of it okay and then we're gonna put brow gel now it's time to do the eyelids now this, I don't have high hopes for at all. I'm actually looking to be disappointed with this. This is the Revlon Colorstay Enigma palette. I really just wanted to do a pink look and this was kind of the one of the only ones that I did see a pink in. That's what she looks like there. As I said in Walgreens, I'm doing this for you, Meg. Okay, so in my crease, let's go with this like berry-esque kind of shade. Oh. Let's see if she's pigmented at least. Okay, she's there. Now, even if she wasn't extremely pigmented, doing this kind of technique as the step and move is going to give you a little bit more pigment color payoff with shadows. And I don't have an eyeshadow base on. I only have on my um, concealer, which I set earlier as well. I mean, she's on. She's alive. But she has a lot of fallout for sure. Like it's fine like it works you know so we have that cranberry color down see that's the thing like the next depth color that i would use because i use this one right the next depth color i would use is the one next to it but it's shimmery so i think that we need a little bit more matte the only other color that i can use is this deep ass purple so let's do it that's cute i'm not mad at these i'm not mad at these okay revlon i was cutting ass on you in the beginning but the formula isn't bad all right and now for the lid shade i'm gonna just take this pink shade here and i'm gonna run my pinky in it and then i'm just gonna place that on the lid i'm just gonna keep layering that in there and the reason that i'm using this first before the lid glitz is because in theory using a, a shadow or a base of some sort with a similar color will make that like liquid eyeshadow pop more i was looking forward to getting disappointed with this i honestly was hoping on its downfall and i'm sorry revlon i feel like this is very beginner friendly and i thought that it wouldn't be because all of these damn eyeshadows are two centimeters apart from each other and i was just like i just see this being one big mess of them all bleeding into each other but she's working she's doing something and then i'm gonna use this kind of champagne color we're gonna pop those highlight shades in the inner corner of the eye like that oh wait how could i forget her i just talked about it this is the black radiance lid glitz eye apparel this is called movie star how did they know i'm gonna try to compare this to like the stila one oh wow she's creamy 
She's pigmented. She's pretty. I would definitely, they have some different flavors there. I would definitely try another one. I could see this something you use on your own too. I am not mad at this. Okay, Black Radiance, how much was she? She was only $6.99. We're gonna do a little bit of a second coat. Let's see if she can handle a second layer of herself. Sometimes they start cracking. Okay, no, I think she can handle it. That's pretty. Cause the Stila ones are definitely in their 20s, the prices. This would be a really pretty lip topper too. Now we need eyeliner. So this is the Revlon Color Stay Eyeliner and this is supposed to last like 16 hours. I don't know about that. We're gonna see. She was $4.24. Hello, are you there? Wait a second. Oh no, wait, am I bugging? Ew, guys, I got a gray eyeliner. Why? I'm like, why is this not pure black? It's okay, I'm gonna show y'all a trick. I'm gonna show y'all a trick. This is what it's meant for, right? To test me. So you know how I was like kind of upset that this was gray instead of black well i'm just gonna make it purple and i'm gonna use that same shade that i used to deepen my crease and i'm just gonna take that and i'm gonna bring it close to the actual eyeliner so it can tie in the eyes a bit more and now we're gonna take our only blending brush from the set and we're just gonna blend the bottom as well using that same cranberry shade that we use for the top i don't hate this eye look at all i think it's really pretty but i just don't see myself gravitating towards this eyeshadow palette compared to you know ones that i have now we gotta do eyeliner on the top now i'm just doing this part so that way i could put false lashes on so i'm covering my eyelash band and now I'm gonna use the opposite side of the eyeliner because apparently it has a smudger brush. So as I've been looking at the inner corner of my eyes, I actually don't like the shade I chose for it. It was more like a champagne. I'm gonna take that same Maybelline Master Chrome and we're just gonna put that on the inner corner. So I have my lash curler. And this is the Maybelline Rocket Volume Express Mascara. This little baby here was $8.99. Now I really enjoyed the fact that the mascara itself, the wand came separately from it. So it's like fresh when you put it in. I love that. And this is a waterproof formula, so. I don't really see volume, which I think that's what this is called, right? I definitely see the length. And it being waterproof too, that's something that I kind of need because throughout the day, my mascara always ends up smudging. So waterproof mascara for me is just an essential, so. I think it looks cute. I mean, my lashes look cute. These are the Ardell Professional 3D Foaming Multi-Dimensional and Invisiband Lashes. We needed some with volume. We needed full lashes. And these are in the number 854. I'm just using the Duo Lash Glue Adhesive with Vitamin E. Well, she definitely opened up her eyes there. These lashes are so pretty. They feel very lightweight too. I thought they were going to feel a bit heavier considering how they looked but okay these lashes super cute i would definitely wear them again i think they really just opened up my eyes they look really pretty i'm not mad at them ardell you did your thing now i actually got two lip pencils because i was gonna mash them together to make like kind of a nude liner so i'm using the maybelline color sensational lip liners in 125 magnetic mauve and 120 rich chocolate and these lip liners were 829 so let's do chocolate first she's more of a red super smooth okay and i didn't prep my lips necessarily with anything i'm not mad at this the only thing is i don't really like lip retractable ones i like to sharpen it but i'm noticing with these lip liners is they definitely dry down to a matte finish so they do not stay creamy which i'm not mad about because i want it to last all day and now we're going to use the mauve shade on top of the chocolate and now it's time for the lipstick now this is what's gonna really make it all nice and nude this is the revlon super lustrous skyline pink this is about to kill everything this is a good look this is decent i definitely really like it this is about to shoot me down let's see it's a frost it's so sheer. We're gonna do a little trick, you guys, to make a nude lip. I'm gonna take my concealer and I'm just gonna tap it on top of my lip. I think we're gonna be saved by the gloss. The gloss is really pretty. This is by Revlon as well. This is the Revlon Super Lustrous Lip Gloss in 205 Snow Pink. I love the chunky applicator. And DK is not sticky, so we gonna see. Cause fancy lip gloss is number one in my heart, so. Let's see how you compare. Very light fragrance, nothing crazy, nothing to drop your jaw over. The lip in my head was not gonna be like this at all, but it matches the look. I'm gonna set my face again and then I'm gonna give you some final thoughts. I'm not mad at this, guys. I like pretty cute. 
Like, I would definitely wear this outside. I will wear this to go return some of this. This is, it's a look. It's cute, it's sparkly. It's in season, we're glowing. I feel good, I feel confident in this. I wouldn't feel like afraid to go out like this at all. So final thoughts, I'm really shook. I think my favorite products were definitely the Master Chrome Highlight. We're gonna keep her. I really did enjoy the Milani bronzer as well. I think that the color is very suiting and it also is very buttery. It's just like a very soft powder. I was also, shook by the black radiance lid glitz i think this is really pretty and i think it's so comparable to the stilo ones that are twice three times its price the eyebrow pencil i just don't like that it's a rounder tip it's a it's a thicker pencil for me i like something that is a little bit more precise and controlled but my brows look good i think and the gel itself is still in place so i definitely enjoy that mascara i think i'm gonna pass on the mascara and the only reason why is because to me it didn't give as much volume as i was looking for but i think that it might have to do with the fact that it's a waterproof formula that may sound strange but in my opinion even though waterproof formulas can hold curls better for lashes i feel like they don't give as much as volume as non waterproof ones do i don't know if it's just me being weird but as for the eyeshadows i mean my eyes look good they don't look horrible but again i just i don't see myself using this entire palette like i feel like it's a bit dated with what color stories they decided to create it needs a little bit more of diversity because i only saw myself reaching for the shades that i already used today so the eyeliner mm, I wouldn't buy this eyeliner again because I could already see it kind of wiping off and this is supposed to be lasting for 16 hours okay Revlon and also it's gray so I don't I don't want a gray eyeliner lip liners I'm a fan of the formula I think I, I messed up my color choice of what I want to do today even though I like how it looks I think that they're super easy to glide on I think that they they mattify pretty quickly and I think that they would last a long time if I didn't put gloss on it you know of course um, I gotta keep it glossy and glossy for you um, but I definitely am gonna keep these I, I really like the wet and wild uh, bronzing contour stick I think that I could live without it i think i'm gonna stick to my fancy one i'm not gonna lie because i like the color more i think this one to me is a little bit more orange than what i go for it made it work with the bronzer i think saved it the powder bronzer but this color in particular for me is is just not my shade that's all darling maybe only for me foundation i mean she's cute or whatever my shade is a little too light i know you can't tell in the monitor here but in person i could see the difference in the color as for formula amazing i definitely would recommend this if you are are someone who is maybe new to foundation and you're just trying to get the the gist of like actually applying it on i think this would be great for you because it's not that expensive and my skin looks like my skin it doesn't look dry considering the fact that it's a matte foundation it doesn't look dry it doesn't feel heavy or anything like that so i i love the foundation fit me thumbs up the lipstick i don't even want to go there don't buy frost lipstick just don't do it the lip gloss super cute but i love gloss so that's kind of biased does it feel sticky no the luminous dry oil now i still have to do research as to what the hell is a dry oil because that don't really make sense i definitely enjoyed what it did to my skin i think that it's a reason why i look so radiant too i'm shook about that and i definitely will keep that because i love oils especially before makeup and if this is specifically catered towards using as a it says moisturizer then i think it would be dope for you to use it before your makeup rather than just like as a skincare treatment you could use like uh, vitamin e oil or something like that okay the primers this one you can kind of live without the illuminating face primer i mean it did give you a nice kind of base for the glow but i honestly don't feel like you need it i don't think that you would miss it if you didn't use it so i'm gonna sit you down right here and then the elf poreless putty primer i love it i think that it really does work and i quite enjoy applying it to the skin i feel like as i'm working it in i feel my skin changing into being more poreless and a little bit goes a long way. So this I've actually, you know, you been using for quite some time now. And I still have so much left. And the fact that she's only $8 versus the Tatcha Silk Primer, which is like fucking $50. Listen, sis, you don't need that one. Don't feel bad for not having the $50 for a primer. It's okay. Go get you an $8 one that works. Does the same. The brand is vegan still. Lashes by Ardell. These are really freaking cute. I actually was running low on lashes, so I'll definitely be keeping these. I feel like they make my eyes look full, but it's also still really natural. Like, I don't think it's doing the most. You can still see my eye lid space, which is really nice. You can see through the lashes, but they still look very voluminous. So I'm down for the lashes, Ardell. The Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Eraser Concealer. My under eye area looks 
really good. I'm not even gonna lie. It doesn't look creased really at all. And the color, it kind of like neutralized once I put the powder on. So I'm not mad at this at all. I'm always looking for a new concealer to try out because for a while I was using the Too Faced Born This Way concealer, but then it just looks so yellow on me and I just didn't like how it was settling on my skin. Like my skin looks really good. Like for this being full face using drugstore makeup, are you fucking kidding? Guys, this is my face. It literally looks so good. I'm, I'm really stunned by this. Now I feel like I've been just throwing my money away. Like why am I spending, you know, 30 something dollars or whatever the case may be on other products when I can get it for $7.99? Wow. And last but not least, the brushes. Real Techniques brushes are probably the best drugstore brand brushes you're going to get. I found use for at least all of these brushes, I would say. They are all amazing, very good quality, very soft. And speaking from experience, I just know that they're gonna last as well. So highly recommend. Guys, go to your local Walgreens. I think Rite Aid might have them too. Real Techniques, you did your thing. Guys, go to your local Walgreens or Rite Aid, wherever it sells Real Techniques near you and try to see if you can get your hands on their holiday set because sis you get a whole bunch of brushes and you get a sponge for 40 bucks unless you have points stocked up then you could get get it for twenty dollars i hope you guys enjoyed this video i had a really good time doing it i'm still shook i can't stop looking at myself because i'm like yo you dead ass have on a full face of drugstore makeup like you've been playing yourself for so long now why haven't you done this before like i should have really like took my time going to the drugstores and started to like add products into my collection again because i think that after i got so into makeup i completely forgot that that's why i started and this really grounded did me and brought me back to like the fact that yo shit is popping out here and stop missing out on it like you can really get glammed up for i mean granted everything here was a little bit under 200 dollars but these are products that are supposed to last you you know for at least a year or so you know what i mean so the fact that i got something that are literally incredible blows my mind and i'm just really happy and thank you guys for suggesting this video please give it a thumbs up if you were fucking with the vibes and don't forget to subscribe to my channel to join the fairy family because we're pretty lit on this side honestly like i need to stop saying it y'all see it we lit on this this side we're unproblematic we support one another we do not discriminate against race gender sexual orientation like we're just here we're just family have a great rest of your day happy furry friday and stay magical